Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Power BI Showcase with James from Matador Software. I've created a report based around mock supply chain and logistics data. We have a landing page, KPI overview, delivery log and we'll utilise a custom tooltip in one of our visuals. This allows us to gain even more insights from our existing data. In today's showcase, I'm going to demonstrate how we can power up our dashboards by using text changes upon hover to preserve screen space, using the Power Automate visual to send a message to Teams when a new complaint is logged in the dashboard, basic DAX functions to add extra insights to our existing data, clean uncluttered design and theme, attractive landing page, and a simple button navigation. I'll go ahead and preview what we're covering in this showcase. It's also worth noting that I created this mock data set from scratch in Excel. So if you want to play around with it, please comment below and I'm more than happy to share this. So you'll see from the offset that we have quite a clean landing page. These just comprise of that dynamic greeting that we'd seen before. We have a preview of our data within a report contained within a shape. We have buttons that lead to our overview and our delivery log page, so we set up quite a clean navigation there. And also at the bottom, we have icons that will take us on to our main social medias, or websites, or email functionality. But this is really modeled to look like a, a web page or web app rather than that classic Power BI report layout. Just a small note here within the landing page and being creative, like I often preach. However, you can see if we hide this shape, we're left with the original image I imported. If I'd left it this way in the background, it wouldn't have looked very clean. And something as simple as applying a shape, a dark blue transparent rectangle, really adds to the design of your dashboards and ultimately reports if we carry that theme through. So something to think about. We've also differed between the default and the hovering state of the buttons so that we display a different text when we hover. This creates a more website or web app like feel to our dashboard, it's more interactive and also we could apply this to every area of our reports if we wanted to and it helps create some space and it makes it more intuitive. So this dashboard we move through into is called the overview or we could consider it our KPIs. We utilize the Power Automate visual, and what this does every time we see a new complaint, we can click this visual, and we've set up a flow in the background that will notify us within Teams so we could apply an action straight away. There's several use cases we could do here, but it just adds to further automating our work within the Power Platform and the Microsoft ecosystem. We have buttons again with that hovering text. I've also just applied a gray rectangle shape overlay over overview and I'll do the same in delivery log and that just helps our users understand what page they're on, you know, in case they forget. So we're able to pack a lot of information here, but it's still a very clean design. And I like this because it's not typical of the usual Power BI dashboards we see, which are heavy with pie charts and gauges and data, but they're not very intuitive. So our last functional page is the delivery log and we have a lot of data people could, you know, work with from the table. However, as we always say in Power BI, we want to give people the ability to make data-driven decisions in an instant. So we have some cards with some nice visuals and we have two filters. Now, best practice is always to give people the as little filters as possible and we can try and control how they navigate the page dynamically. But sometimes you need to do it that's what we have here. Complaint status is important because it highlights where our departments need to push and resolve issues. And by driver performance is also very important because we want to analyze how each driver performs and they're, they're, they're upholding standards.
we have measured trip time variance, which simply sums the difference between the planned trip time and the actual trip time. And it returns how many minutes delayed early or even on time uh, delivery was. So we have quite simple conditional formatting rules here. So we assume that a negative number, you know, to zero or less than zero is an early delivery. Uh, late delivery would be greater than zero. You get the point and we just said an arbitrary number less than 1000 and else it's on time because it's zero, the value, um, we would just denote an amber flag. So the we're already giving people the power to look at where we're going wrong by simply looking out for these red flags, and that's what we want to do. So the last column I've chosen to conditionally format is the complaints received, obviously a hugely important data point for anyone to highlight because we need to action those. So it's in text format, which doesn't, lend itself to conditional formatting however what we can do is go into the power query editor transform our data and we can add an additional column based on the text here and we can output a value and we can use that to conditionally format our column As usual, if you find this content helpful, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Every single teardrop creates another shockwave. Promises you promised this. Guess the words he told me shit. You was on some other shit. I was trying to contemplate the reasons for the arguments you always trying to contemplate.